Rupert Holmes, Escape, a.k.a. the Pina Colada song. This is a, a pretty basic song here, uh, essentially just the same progression all the way through, but there's some different voicings and different techniques for each section if you want to do the uh, straight-up recorded version. There's also that really cool lead line in there that uh, we'll get into. And I'll go through each section, just right through it off the top here. Uh, I'll go back through afterwards and give you a little more of a guided walkthrough. Um, before we get to all that, pretty please hit that subscription button. Help out the channel. It'd be much appreciated. All right, and no further ado, Pina Colada song. Here we go. Okay, so the intro progression slash chorus progression, and uh, you could even play this through the verse too. I mean, uh, it's essentially the same progression all the way through the song. There are different things that happen um, if you want to do the actual recorded way, and I'll show you that. But uh, just in case you want to keep it simple, you could just do this progression the whole song. So it'll start here with this F voicing, and you want to do this kind of mid mid range F voicing here. So we'll do uh, seven on the uh, D here, and uh, five on the G, six on the B, and we just want to hit that, just strum it once, cut it, keep it short. Okay, now we're going to come down and kind of hit the bottom of this now, uh, keeping that six on the B, and then uh, fretting the five on the E. Okay, and you just want to worry more about like the B and E at this point. Okay, we're going to hit the uh, six and the five together couple times. Okay, bring the pinky over, hit the 8 on the B with that 5 E. Okay, now we kick off the next measure by coming back to that 6 B 5 E. And we hit that once and cut it. Okay, and uh, there's some little small little transitional chords that happen between the main chords here. The first transitional one will just be this uh, part of a B chord here. And essentially, we're just walking up into the next chord. Okay, so we're going to hit the fours here on the DGB. You want to hit it, hold it, okay, and then just bring it up a fret so that we get to that C now for the next measure. And once we hit the fives on the DGB here for that C, once you hit that, then you just cut that. Okay, so it would be something like that. Okay, and now it would get us into our next position, which is basically in this C now. Okay, And from there, you want to uh, basically focus on the B and the G string here. We're going to hit the 5 there a couple times. Come over, hit a 7 on the G with the 5B. And then come back to the 5s on the G and B. And once we hit that, for the start of the last measure, we hit it once, cut it. All right. And the final chord that we hit will be an E voicing. And that's essentially our, our walk up transitional chord back to the original F. Okay. And the way we way you want to do it is essentially just uh, fret the exact voicing you had for the F there, but just be a fret lower. Okay. So we'll do that 6D, 4G, 5B. And like the other style with the other chord, we just hit it, hold it and then walk up to our F to re-kick the whole thing, and we would just cut that F. Okay, so uh, let's just do it slowly here so you can kind of see everything work itself out here, okay? Let's slowly do it here.
Okay. So it's just a matter of getting that transition down and then uh, eventually you just get it up to tempo. Alright, once we get to the verse, as I said, you can either uh, jam away on uh, the initial main progression there, the F to B, C, uh, C to E, back to the F, that, that whole main progression, or what the, the uh, guitar recorded version is doing, it's just kind of picking around in a couple notes here, really. Uh, and they're, they're muted, and they're just kind of more of an accent to what's going on. Okay, so it's like, we'll start here, and you can break it up into three different uh, chunks here that you can, you can just alternate through. Um, initially, you could do something like two to open on the G, kind of muted, and then hit that one on the B and give it a little vibrato. Okay, give that a little vibrato, come back to the two open on the G, hit the one on the B, and then cut it. Okay, so it'd be something like... Okay, some, something like that, just small muted little notes that we're just bouncing around with. All right, and the next variant that you can do with it, kind of start it the same way, hit the two open G, but then come up low for the low C on the three of the A. Okay. Right. And uh, then you can sprinkle in this little bit uh, where we do a cool little uh, slide up and down at the end of it. Okay, we start it the same way, two open G, one B, little vibrato, two open G. All right, but now we're gonna add this thing. Uh, one on the B, three on the G, hit it, slide it up two frets for the 3B, 5E, and then just slide it right back down to the 1B, 3E, okay? So it'd be like, right. just a little fun thing you can put on the end of that one. All right. So let's just try this all up to speed. Now the iconic guitar section of the song. It's just that big lead line that happens. And uh, initially, uh, th this starts the same way throughout the whole part. Uh, there's a second, the second part to it though. Uh, at the end, it just at the towards the outro, it just ends on a different note. But the first time through, it's something like this, where we're up on the G here. We go 12, 14, 13, 15 on the B and then hit the 15 on the E, and hold that. So it'd be... Okay. From there we go 13, 12, E, 13, B, to 12, G. Right. Second section here, uh, 12 to 14 on the G, 13, B, and then we hit that 15 on the high E, and we give it a bend and a slow release there. Okay, from there you go 13, 12, 13 on the E, 12 E, and 13 on the B. Alright, so let's just try this all the way up to tempo. Alright, and once we get to the last time we do that uh, that lead line, um, there's just one small little thing that changes. Uh, we do everything the same, but the very last note we hit changes. Alright, so instead of ending on the 13B, we're just going to end on a 15E. Okay, so that last section would be something like... Okay, so it's a small little thing that happens. All right, so I'll just do it one time through up to speed just to let you hear how it sounds. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button 
I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tableture books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.